What's good, y'all? It's your boy. Um, oh, wait. Y'all know me. Okay, hold on. It's your boy. Well, you may know me as Alley Cat, Alley Kitty, Alley. I'm a man of many names, but lately I've been going by the Humble Elder, or Elder for short, when I get on the stage. Um, it's been really long since I've made a video in this format as you can see um it's been a really long time since i've been on any platform really making any video in this like formatting so it's kind of crazy to have a ring light in front of me and a camera right now i'm like oh my god <laughs> it's really too much for me right now if you can't tell it's been a really long time like i just checked back and it was like seven years since the last video i posted and I feel like it's just a really appropriate time, like just to make a comeback. I, you know, there's a lot that's happened. It's helped me grow, helped me like learn a lot about just life and um, what I want to do, what I want to be, what I've become is just like honestly amazing. Yeah, I've grown a lot, and I feel like I feel myself growing so much more every day. Like when I wake up and consciously decide to like just keep on going, keep on going. There's not really much of an update. Not too much, you know, I went to college. I, yeah, it's kind of a blur, honestly, bro. You can follow me on Instagram, keep up with my, just my day by day. I don't really post my day by day necessarily, but just check it out. We'll get to that. Okay, so one thing that I've like really discovered over these years, well, not really discovered, but sort of re relearned my loving and desire to like create. So I want to create in like a way that's like, I mean, musically. I grew up in a musical family. Always just wanted to do it. Never really felt the push because society tells you, you gotta be a scientist, you gotta be a doctor. But that's not the here nor there. That's a whole nother segue. End of the day, I, over these years, have like been really like learning myself. I love doing music. So that's what I've been really doing, like staying down, not really posting too much about anything really, you know, school, work, and just trying to really like make life worth living for real like at the end of the day i learned that it's gonna be a lot of working it's gonna be a lot of paying your bills it's gonna be a lot of doing stuff that you don't want to do um so you got to take as much time as you can doing what you want to do that's music for me like literally if i'm not working or like um, playing video games or cooking something to eat i'm just writing some music i'm writing music um practicing songs i've already written i'm talking to people about doing music in the future it's a lot of music talks a lot of music it's a lot of music it's a lot of music so that's like really what i've been prioritizing so that brings me to why i'm posting today you might not like it i do have notes <laughs> um so let me just look at them real quick so like i said i've been like i've been really focusing on music and like just learning as much as i can in regards to studio production and um, songwriting, um, things like that. I really have a big vision overall. I guess I can explain um, the general gist of what I like want to do. Like this is very long term, short term, but basically, you know, I've written a lot of music over these past six, seven years, and a lot of it is trash. A lot of it's good though, and a lot of it, whether it's good or bad, has been released. Now I'm kind of in the phase of like trying to become more professional with it. I know that I won't be no Beyonce, which I don't really want to be necessarily. I feel like I'm more of like a behind the scenes type of guy, maybe ghostwrite a song or something. So I'm more in like the, in the phase of like currently getting my music out there so people can see that I'm a good writer, good artist, and then collabing with people who are like-minded, finding people with similar sounds and similar um, goals and then eventually getting into what they call sync placements, which I don't know if you're anyone's familiar with, but it's basically the music that you hear behind trailers, um, just ad music, you know, like trailers, commercials, video games, um, everything. You know, like you need a soundtrack to life and that's really what I want to provide. So that's kind of what I've kind of been like, uh, researching and like kind of getting into over these past maybe like this past year I've like really been getting more serious into like sync placing and like um, just becoming more serious with my writing 
with all that being said, I fund everything that I do, of course. Like, as an independent artist, it's really not, um, it's kind of obvious that I, you know, I would be funding everything. There's not a big team behind me, you know, which is not a problem. Of course, you, you do need people supporting you on the back end to just motivate you or shoot something for you, whatever the case may be. But yeah, I do everything on my own, studio time, uh, buying beats and, uh, you know, everything, every, everything. Let me tell you, everything. I do have a lot of really good friends who support me as much as they can. Shout out to y'all, y'all know who you are. I really cannot thank y'all enough, for real, because I probably wouldn't be where I am without the people who supported me. So big shout out to all my like chosen family and friends who have like, you know, been posting my stuff and just asking me when the stuff is gonna be released or, you know, all that stuff. Thank y'all. Aside from all that, I do everything on my own. It's like not, it's not expensive because I don't put, like, I don't have it. It's expensive. Okay, so here's what it is. It's expensive. I can only pay in portions at a time, you know, like, I got rent, I got other things I gotta do, and that's priority. But uh, art itself is also a priority. Like I was saying before, I'm prioritizing things that I enjoy in my life. Uh, and that's one thing I've learned in all these years that I, you just gotta do that. You have to do that. So I'm gonna do it, but you know, if it takes a longer time, that's fine. That's kind of where I was, you know, like it's fine. And I'll be patient and I learned a lot of patience over these years, but you know, you just really can't do it yourself. I don't know, bro. I've applied for grants and it's just like been a no-go so far. Grants are kind of iffy. These people don't really know me. So it's like, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know. You'll, you're gonna get no's. It is preparing you for a yes. So, you know, whatever. You get, I'm, I'm gonna keep on applying. So I I guess I never even explained what the video is for um, because I'm awkward when it comes to these type of things. So I'm starting a crowdfund for my art, basically. Like I was saying before, I've applied for grants. I've been funding my art by myself for a really long time. And I heard of this thing called Indiegogo. And I've always believed that there's, you know, some there's 7 billion, 8 billion people damn near on this earth right now. Odds are one person's gonna f me. One, at least one. So I'm like, hey, you know, may as well put myself out there. And I know that my, like, what I believe is that people are gonna see me for who I am and like appreciate my talent and just sort of like feel they need support because they just know that I have a greater purpose and like a bigger vision for all this. So yeah, I'm starting a crowdfund. It's called the, wait a second, let me find out. 1900, an audio and visual extended play album. Woo! Cheers from the crowd, cheers from the crowd. Cheers from the crowd, cheers from the crowd. <laughs> yes, that's gonna be my EP name, 1900. It's been the name of it since I started working on music. Like, so the whole reason why I even started working on music is because, oh my God, party's over. Everyone pack your bags, let's go. Okay. The EP was really the beginning of like, what really motivated me to do music. So once I got to college, found out people was actually making their own music. If y'all can make music, I can make music. That's the way I thought so. I was like, okay, I'm about to make an EP right now. I sat in my room, wrote like five songs. <laughs> Let me see if I can fly one for y'all. Actually, this is crazy right now. This is crazy. Uh-uh. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. I called this song Fat Chicken. What the? I got drip, but it ain't called barbecue. I got 12 different that I'm talking to. I'm on another level. My IQ scores several. I'm on a stove like Uncle Ben do. Not just rice. I got me a fat chicken too. You need some milk, baby, tweaking like the bird flu. Hey, niggas cooking. I guess they need the work too. Ooh. This is when I was getting into my like boom bat bag. Okay, here go another one called Semantics. Okay. Don't really F with the semantic, get to the point. Semantics standing for a pillar and I wreck them like Hannah. 
I look up when I lead the sun is shining bright like my coin and giving it easy when you got the sack like my boy Santa. A gift was born in 96 and I'm not talking about Christmas. My life done show me that my wish list about as long as my guest list. I need money, me, myself, and I. And once I got it in the end, I'll probably be the same guy. I don't give a F and I've been made that clear. I'll let you know if you forget by pushing your grandma out her wheelchair. <laughs> I was spitting, I was spitting down. Okay, well that was fun. I hope y'all get a little glimpse of who I was back in 2018, 2019. That was rough, bro. That was not much incentive uh, for you to support the cause and donate, but I do have a lot of stuff coming out soon. I do have Doing Nothing that's out now. It should be out now, June 15th. And um, really, uh, I'm not asking for, well, it may be a lot, but I'm asking in total for $750 for this campaign. It's not even like a quarter of really what I would need to do everything that I want to do with in regards to my music and like the studio production of it all. But it's just a like catalyst for me to like just keep, keep forward, continue moving forward. I have had a lot of momentum, like self-driven momentum. And like I said, for my friends, really helped me to stay motivated and stuff i definitely have to root, root you know shout out myself because if i didn't keep going i really wouldn't have learned everything that i've learned on this journey music or otherwise and i really can thank music for that because i've written things that i've never spoken out loud i just try to methodically think of the things that i write and how they flow and so rereading and rewriting and like rewriting them lyrics have helped me grow so much and i just want to keep growing whether that you know like both in music and in my personal life this video is probably going really long now but no yeah i think i said everything um and it's okay if you can't donate uh the best thing to do after that is just boost it up or boost me up hit me up ask me if i got a song coming out or if i need help with shooting a, a video for tiktok or something i don't know um every type of support is really helpful so yeah, like I appreciate y'all just watching. I appreciate y'all taking the time to just hear me out. And there's definitely a lot more coming soon in the future. Uh, like I said, if you can't donate, that's okay. I'm asking for $750. If 750 y'all mofos give me $1, that's it. And also if like we don't reach the 750 mark, the money that I do raise is still going towards like specifically, strictly my music. And there's gonna be like a chart that's updated every day based upon how many um, donations I receive and how much money's being spent on a day-by-day -day basis. So you will feel ensured that your money's going towards the right place, the right person, the right cause, all these things. Again, it's your boy, Ali Cat, Ali Kitty. I don't know what you know me as, but you can call me the humble elder or elder for short. Thanks again, y'all, for listening. I think I'm back in this. Let's go.